Starting at 7 o'clock on Friday night, we're closing the westbound lanes of US 2 between the State Route 204 interchange and 50th Avenue Southeast. <clears throat> this is part of a major preservation project that we're doing for three miles of US 2 between Lake Stevens and Snohomish and the Everett area. While we're on the westbound lanes during these overnight weekend closures, we're going to remove the old asphalt, which has outlived its anticipated 15 year lifespan. While we have that asphalt removed, we're going to do a thorough inspection of the trestle and the bridge deck, make any necessary repairs to the structure, and then replace the asphalt. Thank you. Westbound US 2 is a two lane highway. The detour route that we're using is 20th Street Southeast, which goes under the trestle. We're going to reverse traffic for the weekend, so it'll be westbound only, and then drivers will be directed up the ramp back onto US 2 just before the I-5 interchange. The detour route is a single lane road. US 2 is a two lane road. We simply don't have the capacity on the detour route. We need people to leave before peak travel hours, that's before 8 a.m. or after 8 p.m. during the closure. Think of new ways to get where you need to go, carpool if possible, or even adjust your plan for the weekend. All of the lanes of westbound US 2 will reopen by 4 a.m. on Monday morning, May 21st. We need to completely close the westbound lanes because the trestle is too narrow to have enough space for our construction equipment, our crews, and maintain one lane of traffic. We have six scheduled weekends, but because we're dealing with pavement, this is weather dependent work and those dates can change. They're listed on the project page on our WASHDOT website. The US 2 preservation project is weather dependent, which already narrows the window of opportunity that we have to get this critical work done. So there's gonna be some overlapping weekends between the US 2 closures and other construction projects such as Revive I-5. However, travelers that will find themselves impacted by the associated closures with the Revive I-5 project will not be heading westbound on US 2 in the same trip. It's two separate groups of travelers and that's why we need everyone's help getting the word out about these different closures.